which eating habit really i'm worried i said someone who eating a pork and by pork what i'm trying to which organism i'm trying to facilitate over here have you heard of uh, neurocystis arcosis and have you heard of tinea solium i hope you have now heard the two beautiful names someone who eating uncooked pork may get the infection of tinea solium and someone who is eating a, a, a uncooked beef can get an inf infection of tinea saginata tinea saginata are you thinking are you understanding here that's what so someone who is eating a uncooked pork you can get an infection from tinea solium and uncooked beef nothing but from tinea saginata that you should know that is important from eating a beef you'll get a tinea saginata exam question and also if i ask one random question one random question what is the hallmark of ncc what is the hallmark of ncc my dear what is the classical if i am eating uncooked pork and uncooked beef what problem i can get in my mri or in my ct scan very very important starry sky appearance starry sky appearance basically basically you see the scolex you know you see the scolex and that is the head of the tapeworm actually in a case of neurocystic sarcosis and nothing but a starry sky appearance you see in a case of which is a hallmark of neurocystic sarcosis okay i'm going to give you a lot of extra information also and that's important okay if i teach you separately ncc it is a one hour topic you will sleep in 10 minutes but randomly on the way i just told you neurocystic sarcosis is because someone eating uncooked beef and uncooked pork which is because of tinea saginata and solium basically you see a starry sky appearance on the mri or ct scan in the neuroimaging and that starry sky is because of the scolex we see multiple scolex and what is scolex the head of the tape mom the head of this tape mom is the scolex that much you write you'll get five marks out of uh, five <laughs>